to be in time. We will follow up with the program. Two talks are coming in this room. Um, the next here is um, Christoph Galushka talking about CentOS SQA in Open Ebola. Thanks for coming and it's your stage. Thank you. Hi everyone. Um, just a few words about myself. Um, I'm from Innsbruck, Austria. I work at the local utility company in the IT operations department. There I am mostly responsible for everything related to firewalling, network security, um, the company internet uplink, and of course uh, those servers that are running on the Linux operating system, more specifically on CentOS. Um, I am part of the CentOS quality assurance team since April two years ago. And in, that, uh, in the project, I am mostly responsible for doing release quality assurance, handling uh, the T-functional stack uh, around the automatic testing setup. And also, I am in the wiki and in the forums active. So uh, I guess most of you are familiar with CentOS. Can I have a show of hands? Who knows it? Okay, that's basically Mozart. So uh, most of you also have or uh, also know th that uh, unexplainable time between an upstream release as a point release and we release the point release in which we say, yeah, we are in QR cycle and it's, it's, it's done when it's done. Um, so in June, uh, three years ago, we decided to try to automate this QA process, which was basically done by hand or partly automated or one member did this stuff, one member did the other stuff, which had to be redone every time we did a rebuild of RPMs or of the tree or of the ESOs. So um, we decided to set up a repository to have a common set of tests usable for every release of CentOS, for every point of release, uh, to rep be repeatable and also to speed up things because um, currently it is like this. Um, we get a new tree build and the automatic QR already starts with, with all the tests that are in there. Um, we are currently at around 430 scripts, which basically test um, high-level functions, trademarks, and does the stuff work as it should for more than 110 packages within CentOS. This starts with um, Anaconda and runs over lots of packages, free radius, uh, MySQL, HTTP and ends with even zip package or something like that. Um, once this started, uh, we later also added the Linux test project to include basic Linux functionalities, um, does file grow work, does syslog act as it should, uh, which is a little bit lower than the t-functional targeting. What we're planning also to do is test every update with all packages, uh, test every update with all tests before we push it to a public release. Um, so uh, we are currently in the second setup of this continuous integration service. Uh, the first setup was before my time, I don't, so I can't tell you anything about it. Um, we are currently uh, uh, in a data center. We are using, of course, <laughs> Open Nebula as the cloud controller. Uh, we started the setup with 4.0, uh, moved to 4.2 later. Um, at that time, we used RPMs which were uh, created by a CentOS developer, by Karan Singh himself. So um, we didn't use the stock RPMs at that time. We moved to, to 4.8 uh, um, last month, basically, I think one or two days before 4.10 was released. But we are still on 4.8. And we basically also had no issues updating from 4.2 to 4.8. Uh, the only thing was um, the Ruby gems, which in my opinion were present in the machine uh, as an RPM install, but had to be reinstalled using the, the install gem script, which is provided by, by Open Nebula. So uh, this is our setup. We currently have uh, three dedicated REC servers we used for that. Um, connected to a private and a public net. Uh, we have... Wait, no, no. Yeah. A uh, little few on the Sunstone interface. Uh, current, it was not really busy at that time. Um, we can see uh, a Jenkins node running, that's the, the third of the VMs. We see someone uh, running a CentOS 7 test instance for probably uh, personal purposes. 
and we can see Jenkins running uh, a complete test set on a CentOS 6 VM 32-bit, uh, uh, so one VM for one host. Um, yeah, as I already mentioned, we use Open Nebula as the cloud controller. The Sunstone interface is installed on the first of these three machines. Um, we, but it's not available on the pu on the public side. We use we use SSH. Uh, to tunnel uh, to the Sunstone interface once when we have to use it. The VMs themselves are also only available in the private network. So here is the same procedure necessary, tunnel through the, the, the first of these hypervisors. We use SSH as uh, data store transport and we use KVM for the hosts. Um, in case you're interested, uh, ci.dev.sendos.org is the Jenkins node, which is also a VM in that setup which is available on the public internet. Um, if the Wi-Fi works, you can access that right now. Um, what else? We have, yeah, the hypervisor, the first hypervisor has some additional functionality. Um, it uses Nginx to forward the public uh, network to the VM running the Jenkins node. It uh, allows the VMs to connect to the internet using IP tables and masquerading. It holds a complete mirror of the of all CentOS releases, so um, the VMs in question can get the, the packages locally. They don't have to query the net. And also using Nginx and PHP, we also mimic the setup of, of a real CentOS mirror, so um, even packages like uh, YAM fastest mirror work in that setup, so we, can re we really have basically a complete setup including mirror network. Yeah, uh, the Jenkins setup, which we use to handle all the testing. We currently have uh, four groups of tests running in that setup. Um, hopefully from top to bottom, uh, Rhymesul, the Docker images testing, the, fu the functional testing and the LTP testing. Uh, most of that stuff is run on a daily basis, while uh, the, first four uh, the first five, the Rhymesul, are only called on demand. Um, when we call them, more on that uh, in a few minutes. Uh, what do we test? We basically test, um, in this setup, we only test uh, the current releases of CentOS because older ones are, as you know, uh, deprecated, so 5.11, 6.6, and 7.20. Um, we run tests with our Docker images. Uh, the tests run on CentOS 6 and 7, and they test the Docker images from 5, 6, and 7. Basically, it pulls in all three Docker images, uh, tests the installation, tests, um, I think, if uh, the, the release version is correct, and does some basic ex uh, command execution inside. The, the, um, the T functional stack, is, which I already mentioned, is the automatic testing of uh, functional packages, trademark checks, and stuff like that. We currently have 14 contributors. Uh, I will tell you a little more about how, uh, if you would like, you can contribute to that as well. So, um, if you have any, if you stumbled upon any problem and you would like to have a test in CentOS, feel free to contribute. Uh, CentOS 7 is running there since the update to 4.8, so uh, also since November, which doesn't mean we didn't use this whole setup to to test CentOS 7 before we released it. We just didn't uh, integrate it into the, the, the publicly accessible uh, testing setup. LTP, the Linux test project, you can find more of that at ltp.sourceforge.net, which already mentioned uh, does a bit little bit more comprehensive testing. This is also um, a setup where we sort of violate uh, RPM install because this is um, installed on every image uh, and every in uh, at every instantiation from source code. So it's compiled and, and executed there, but at least you run through everything and you don't have pre-done pre pre MPMs, so you really see, okay, everything works as it should. Uh, the fourth and last is the, the Rhymesul set of tests. Uh, Rhymesul is basically um, a set of scripts that, that automate day-to-day uh, -day CentOS operations. Um, 
mostly it, it uh, automatically pushes and pulls updates from, from ftp.redhat.org.com uh, or um, uh, does ESO, tree ESO builds or tree builds for us when we have a point release. So this is available to us on demand. Whenever we get new uh, um, tests to, to check, we call this on demand and see, okay, our tests pass, we can merge, or uh, okay, something fails, we have to do that again. Uh, of course, we also need images to, to run these tests. Um, CentOS has six and five and six images. Um, I created by using Project Raindrops, which has been created by Carl and Bill and Jamie. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, it basically, uh, uh, this is publicly available, and it basically allows you to uh, submit a kickstart file and a configuration file and get uh, to uh, an image built tailored to your needs. Uh, basically on the fly, so 10, 10 to 15 minutes later uh, you can uh, pull the completed image down, install it where you want and run it with, with the packages you selected. The CentOS 7 image that is used uh, basically comes from, from the project itself, so from cloud.centos.org. It's available there for download, so you can use that as well. Uh, I've I've took uh, a short kickstart example, it's um, in the presentation then as well. Uh, as you can see, this is nothing fancy, this is actually the script that uh, builds the image for the CentOS 6 uh, X47 test image. It only has uh, two repositories, the CentOS base release, no updates installed, and the one context. The image itself is also very small, only core uh, base and the context packages himself are installed, so nothing fancy. Any, any nothing fancy. <coughs> what we did with this image is um, the t-functional stack is one of the first steps it does is it calls an update of the virtual machine, which basically updates all packages, including kernel and JCC, which would usually require a reboot, but that again would fail Jenkins, or if the machine would terminate by rebooting it, Jenkins would say it failed. So uh, we created this VM image to basically um, on the first boot start without SSHD enabled. Then it checks if it already has been updated. If not, it runs a complete update. Uh, after that, uh, re-enables SSHD and reboots. So the first time Jenkins can connect to the VM is uh, an up-to-date VM, including running not only updated, but also running uh, the latest kernel. So we are sure this is um, what the machine should look like on that day with all updates available. <coughs> so um, yeah, tfunctional is basically a Git repository uh, hosting all these functional tests. We uh, are using Bash as main scripting language, but basically everything else is possible. It is hosted on gitorias.org um, and in the meantime also on git.sendos.org. Uh, yeah, I already said community driven, so everybody may contribute. You can see the daily results of all tests uh, for I think about a year or more back on the CI dev sendos.org webpage. And the repositories are also publicly available, the one at gitorios.org and the one at centos.org. Mm. Um, the one at centos.org is basically part of the special interest group core, as it is nothing, had nothing t has nothing to do with SCL or, or stuff like that, so it's part of the basic core distribution. What do we do? So, um, and what do we do actually in these two to three weeks, which we, we usually need, apart from rebuilding the packages that need to get pushed? So, we test, uh, is the next point release installable via various methods? We are doing it with ESO images uh, through the network using various methods, NFS, HTTP, FTP, and pi uh, PXI. We are doing mixed installs with uh, net install ESOs and the newly rebuilt tree, we are trying uh, USB images, AFI installs on VMware, sorry, uh, BIOS installs also on VMware images and on bare metal. This is, um, most of the stuff is highly automated, so uh, once we get a new tree, this is 
basically rebuilt, installed, running through every iteration, wi every iteration with 64-bit architecture, 32-bit architecture. So um, we really try to to cover most of the stuff that that we can test. Apart from that, we also do a uh, hands installation because naturally um, GNOME or KDE testing stuff is a little bit hard to automate. So um, this is basically all uh, CLI based. Yeah, of course. So is the package doing what it's supposed to do? That's the major issue. And um, we also have had to expand tests or to adapt tests uh, when new packages are introduced upstream. So as long as it's the first release of PHP, it's rather easy. Uh, just like with 5.10, uh, PHP 5. No, MySQL 5.5 got introduced. So you also have to adapt the packages or the tests to not only um, test the basic release or test the basic release in CentOS 6 or 7, but also if it is CentOS 5 to test the newer release, which is uh, yeah PHP 5.3 or MySQL 5.5. That also has to be <coughs> considered. Um, if someone says, okay, I want to contribute, here is how it works. Um, basically, you go to Gitorius.org, um, clone your local copy, or better, your remote copy on the website, pull it, push it down, do whatever you want, add tests, fix tests, um, push your changes up, and then you uh, request the merge. One of the developers will then take a look at it and either say, yeah, okay, uh, we will test it or say, no, okay, I already see there is something wrong, please redo it. He will then go uh, to, to, to IRC, recall that, that rhymes was set up on demand. Um, the advantage is while uh, the Jenkins setup usually monitors only the main repository, Rhymesol uh, gets the, the new URL or the new Git repository from us. So whatever the name of the contributor, we will only um, give Rhymesol this URL so he checks his local copy. If all of the five tests work through, we usually say, okay, we merge the test. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, if it fails, one the contributor has to rework and see where it happens. Um, the tests usually are the current setup takes one hour to complete all tests. Um, yeah, okay, for a single test in uh, the latest pack in the last package, that's usually also that's basically always a lot of time to wait. So uh, we can also go ahead and change the repository to only test the package the user changed. So it does the best set of basic tests, does DNS work, does YAM update work, and then it tests only his package so the user gets feedback earlier than waiting for an hour until his package gets through to the, the queue. <coughs> we then um, also push the new changes to the um, git.sendos.org website which is um, well Gitorias and sendos.org are usually both in sync. Uh, the only difference is being is uh, Gitorias.org is the public part, while the whole QR environment, which runs at the point release, pulls its sets of packages from the uh, git.sendos.org. But usually that was what is on Gitorias is also what is in the main repository. We have two further setups that use Open Nebula in within the CentOS ecostructure. We have uh, two data centers in London, which we are housed, uh, which have two separate or two setups. Each uh, setup has four hosts, which, or each setup has four hosts. One of these two setups will be expanded to eight in the near future. We are uh, already running um, some stuff there. The seven, the Planet website uh, testing VMs. We are currently working on an updated version of the bugs.sendos.org website that is currently tested in that setup. We have a reverse proxy running there and some internal stuff. And we are also in the preparation of moving the main website and the forum to this. Uh, it is also using 4.8 at the moment. It has update also has been rec also has recently been done. <coughs> this setup is using a cluster file system uh, via InfiniBand. So um, if you are more interested in that setup and how the migration worked and what the issues were, very little if I remember, mm. you can go to Fabian Arodin's blog uh, in which he covered basically everything that, that he had to do to get the new setup with InfiniBand to work. 
No button. So this would be my part. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Great. Success. <laughs> yeah, Jamie. Oh, great. Yeah, I have one question. It's something I never really understood. When you uh, fix the um, tests, you're fixing. Um, so, so you're pulling the. Um, you're pulling from the Red Hat's FTP server. You download the source code. You compile it, and you test that you're compiling it correctly, right? That's, um, the, that's, the, um, that's, the, th that's the intention we are planning to do. Um, basically, um, it's usually it's it's like this when the s the, the source RPM compiles comp uh, or rebuilds com uh, in rebuilds successfully. Uh, the package is also considered sane. Um, it is tested, does it update or install correctly, but we don't have the functional tests of the, the newly built package yet. Because um, the, the build system is completely isolated, once the package gets push, pushed to the Miro network, it is available publicly, so we haven't worked out how to um, manage, the manage pushing the package from the build system to a place where we can run all tests. Once that succeeds, we can push the package publicly. Did that answer your question? Yes, but I, sti I still have. Um, yeah. I still don't don't get don't get the whole picture. So uh, y you're fixing uh, um, the building of the package. That's no, 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 no. Or are you um, um, we, uh, the, the fixing? Software? We can't fix the building of the pa uh, we can't fix the building of the package in case a spec file or something is wrong. Um, but of course. Um, we, we can't fix the source as we pull it from down from upstream. Um, mm. What we had in the past is is uh, one or two updates caused a malfunction. I think a few months ago, uh, LDAP had such an issue. Um, if we had tested the update uh, with with this test suite, we would have found the error in the LDAP package, and then we could have said, okay, we will not release this update, of although up upstream released it but we will hold it back because it breaks stuff. That is what we are working to do. But we cannot fix uh, the source RPM. We can only uh, file the bug entry upstream, uh, or we can fix the spec file to, to, to match the our environment, but we cannot fix the source code in the place where it is, um, where the bug resides. Uh, we, we, do, we do such stuff only or very, very in very little, in, in a very small amount. Uh, recently with the OpenSSL bug, where we, I think somewhere in the middle of the night, pushed an OpenSSL package, which was basically the same as upstream, but with uh, SSL v v version 3 disabled or with the buggy code. Mm. And a few hours later, upstream released also the new package. Did I answer your yeah. question now? No, yeah, okay, no, okay. Now, uh, of course. More questions? On else on the final notice, some of you already found them. There are uh, free T-shirts over there, so uh, sizes small through XL. So please feel free to pick one or two. Or if some of your colleagues are in the other room, I, uh, I guess they won't hear me, but tell them shirts are over there. Please feel free to to grab one. What it's what's up with double X? Yeah, I found some of them oh. too in there. Yeah, yeah, double uh, double XL is there as well, <laughs> <laughs> but not as many. <laughs> uh, it will not help me, but uh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, thank you very much. Thank you as well. Um, means we have a short break.